If you haven't hopped aboard the Houston Texans bandwagon, then what are you waiting on? This team looks like they might be the best team in the entire NFL. They are 12-point home favorites this week against the Tennessee Titans on bet deck, 45 the total in this game. Tennessee's a division rival. These teams have a history of competitive games, so 12 might sound like a big number here until you look at it just a little bit. I mean, the Texans, first off, backing the Texans has been an extremely good idea for the last year plus. They're 3-0 this year, both straight up and against the number. In their last 21 games, they are 15-5-1 against the number. They've just There hasn't been a better team in the NFL to back over the last year plus. Laying 12 again to Tennessee this week. The Titans... They pulled out a good win last week against the Detroit Lions to avoid no and three start. Looked like they were going to lose that game. After being in control of the game early, Detroit came back and took a lead. I, I think just about everybody at that point thought the Titans were going to go ahead and wilt and lose that game. They did not. Ended up winning in thrilling fashion in overtime. But, but I just do not know how they're going to match up with the Houston Texans in this game. Really tough to lean towards any side but the Texans side. Similar to tonight's game, the game that's going to kick off in a few hours, the Cleveland Browns, Baltimore Ravens, if you're going to make a case for the underdog in this game, which, which in this case would be the Tennessee Titans, at some point your argument has to circle back around to, well, 12 points is a lot to give an NFL team. I mean, and that's true, it is. 12 points is a lot to give an NFL team, no doubt about it. But that's really all you got because – Everything else. I mean, when you, when you examine this game, every single trend points towards a Houston win cover. Uh, when you look at these two teams, when you look at them statistically, when you look at their records, I mean, Houston, it, their offense has been good now for years. Their defense has officially surpassed their offense. Defense finished second in the league last year in total defense. They're currently second in the league in total defense through three games. They're in the top five in every major statistical category. So a dominant defense a really good offense when everybody is healthy and everybody is healthy now Tennessee Titans have uh, their defense uh, their defense is 31st in the league in total yards 30th against the pass 29th against the rush and 32nd dead last in points allowed I mean there's just there's no worse defense in the league and so when you see the total here of 45 you know you, you might say, well, that sounds a little low. Well, the reason the total is only 45 is because people think Houston's going to put up about 30. <laughs> you know? I, I mean, how's the Tennessee offense going to score, going to move the ball in this game against the Texans defense? Jake Locker has been playing better, and Tennessee did put up some big points against Detroit last week, but this will be a road game, and the Houston Texans are not the Detroit Lions on the defensive side of the ball. They are on another level. So, Tough not to lean towards Houston minus 12 here. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm like most of you. I don't like laying double-digit numbers in the NFL, you know, so who, who knows? We, we'll put our picks up here in a couple of days. Don't know if I'll go with this game. I know I will not be going with Tennessee if I do go with this game. Could be non-competitive. Then again, we see surprises in the NFL every week, so who knows? Cardinals win a couple of weeks ago as a 13-point underdog in New England. I think this would be a similar level of surprise if the Tennessee Titans were able to go into Reliance Stadium this weekend and beat the Houston Texans.